Have you ever wondered why your headphones get so crazily tangled? Are there any tips for preventing tangles? And how does core tangling relate to the fate of the universe? Today, we find out. Dorian Rainbow and Douglas Smith in 2007 authored a fantastic paper called The Spontaneous Knotting of an Agitated String, as you do. Basically, they threw string into a box, jostled it around, and recorded data on the types of knots that formed. They classified the knots by the number of crossings. After thousands of trials using different size boxes, different lengths and stiffnesses of string, they found some answers for us. First up, knots can form super easily. Just a simple crossing of two parts of a string is enough to tie a knot. Probability of knotting was higher when the string was longer, when the string was more bendy, and when the box was bigger, and when the string was left in the tumbling box for longer. All this makes sense, right? Earphones are a particularly tangly type of string because of their length, their bendiness, and because of the earbuds on the Y branch, which lead to more opportunities for crisscrossing. The underlying science behind tangled cords is the physics of entropy and the second law of thermodynamics, which states that things tend towards disorder. Entropy is the reason why it's easier to make a room messy rather than clean, to mix a cocktail instead of unmixing it, and to scramble an egg instead of unscrambling it. The fundamental laws of physics all work in time reversal, so there's no real reason why these things couldn't happen spontaneously. It's just that they're very unlikely due to the probabilities of large numbers. If I flip one coin, it's 50% likely that I'll get heads or tails. If I flip four coins, <laughs> There's only one way to get all heads and no tails, but six ways to get two heads and two tails. That is, it's six times more likely to get half heads and tails than it is to get all heads. And if I have 100 coins, it's 10 with 29 zeros after it times more likely to get 50 heads and 50 tails than it is to get all heads. And it's the same with messy rooms. There are so many ways in the universe for your room to be messy and only one way for it to be clean. Given enough time and energy, it's super unlikely that it'll remain clean of its own accord. So if anyone blames you for having a messy room, just blame entropy and the probability of large numbers. The entropy of mixing and the probabilities of large numbers has implications for so many areas of science. People will likely end up more genetically diverse, cocktails will end up more mixed, and temperatures of the universe will even out. Yeah, that's right. The end of the universe will likely be a cold and bland, foggy soup of photons, all diffused out in what's known as the heat death of the universe. Great, love that. The principles of entropy work the same with headphones. There are a bajillion ways in the universe for headphones to be tangled, and only one way for them to be untangled. So given enough time and energy jangling around in your pocket, they're bound to get tangled. There's a cool branch of mathematics called knot theory underpinning all this. And to learn more about it, I've decided to talk to an expert. Well, thanks, Dan, for being with us. Um, so I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about why, why knots cool. Well, I just think knots are, are great. I mean, they're, they're such a simple thing. Everybody knows what a knot is, and yet there's this huge amount of mathematical structure in it. How you tell them apart, uh, and sort of it's in the more recent research, there's connections to all these other areas of mathematics, to geometry, physics, uh, quantum mechanics, string theory, all these things somehow use knots in an essential way. How could we use knot theory to prevent the tangling of our headphones? If you fix the end points, or three end points, the two earbuds and, and the, end of the other end of the cord, and then it only jiggles about in sort of a confined region and can't sort of loop around the outside, well then it can't tangle. It's got to stay untangled. If it was tangled, it will stay tangled. If it's untangled, it will stay untangled. So there you have it, folks. Ways to prevent cord tangling. Use a short cord. Use a stiff cord. Don't use earphones at all. Or use the mathematics of knot theory and restrict your topology by keeping the ends out of your pocket. Good luck. <laughs>